What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel, everyone. I hope you all are having a good Sunday morning, and uh, I appreciate you all tuning in. So today, I'm gonna be reviewing this bad boy from the House of Alexandria Fragrances, and this is Visionary. So this is their version of Louis Vuitton's Imagination, all right? So before we get into the scent, guys, I just wanted to give a big shout out to Alexandria Fragrances. When it comes to their shipping, it's just immaculate, all right? So I own a few fragrances from Alexandria Fragrances, and I remember there was a time where I've ordered something on a Friday, and I've gotten it that following Monday. And mind you, I live in Florida and they live, or they were shipping from LA. So from one side of the country, literally to the other side of the country within a weekend, I mean, that's big ups to you guys, all right? So I wanted to give you guys your flowers on that. And um, yeah, so check out Alexandria Fragrances, guys. So this is, their version of Louis Vuitton's imagination. So, man, this is a beautiful fragrance, guys. This is unisex, male and female can wear it. In the opening, you're gonna get Sicilian orange, citrone. You got some neroli, some ginger in here. And in the dry down, you have this Chinese black tea note that sticks out. And it's just blended beautifully, guys. If I had to, if I had to pick one word to describe this fragrance, I would say it's it's beautiful. All right. So as far as um, performance, I get about eight plus hours. I've worn this a few times uh, at work already, and I get on a good day, I'll get eight plus hours for. For a citrusy, freshy, if you were to ask me, that's pretty good. Um, I've had this for about a little over two weeks now, so I'm sure if, I don't know if I gotta let it macerate, maybe it will get better. Um, so, but to give you guys like a scent profile of what this smells like, the next time you guys are at Target, Target or at Walmart or you know the next time you go to buy like hand soap and look at the soft soap brand and pick the green one open up the green one and smell it and you're gonna get this okay to my nose that's what I relate this scent to all right now by any means I'm, I'm not I'm not trying to say that this smells cheap or anything like that, not at all, but just picture that green soft soap, soap, all right, when you smell it, but a more luxurious, this obviously sm smells more luxurious, all right? Um, to me, that's what this reminds me of, so just to give you guys something that you can relate to. Um, that's what this smell reminds me of. So, uh, that's Visionary from Alexandria Fragrances. I've never smelled the OG Louis Vuitton Imagination, um, but I also, do believe that when it comes to inspirations, Alexandria Fragrances does do a great job too, guys, because I would put them up there with the Dua brand and Sensual Obsessions. So, you know, because they also make extract the parfum oil concentration as well. So, um, yeah, guys, recommend Visionary check it out get your nose on it this is a 1.8 ounce um, occasions I would wear this you could wear this casually but me personally because I find it to be like a beautifully done fragrance I would wear this like for an evening out or 
like even a date night date night scent i feel like this would make a, a perfect date night scent so yeah guys there it is visionary i appreciate you all watching so um oh yeah i wanted to show you guys this too so i just got this in the mail too that's that one million shower gel body wash man like all right guys i know Paco Rabanne, 1 million, it's overrated, or at least probably that's how many of you feel out there. But um, I like, I mean, the scent smells great and the body wash smells great too. And this, this lasts a long time on my skin. Um, I recommend the body wash, guys, if you guys haven't smelled it. it. Smells just like the fragrance, all right? So I'm gonna be going on a vacation here in a few weeks. I know I'm gonna be wearing this, all right? So, um, so the next video will be Heart Spark from the House of City Rhythm, like I showed you guys on the last one. And then after that one, I have, uh, I just got a decant of the Harmonist Hypnotizing Fire. So I've actually been wanting to get a sample of that one for a long time. So I'm excited to review that one too. And again, I appreciate you all tuning in and I'll see you on the next one guys. Peace.